Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back. It's Natalie. And Christine. <laughs> We're super happy to be here with you guys. Today is day three. Day three is all about restoration work. So this is recovery. It's taking time to put some energy back into our body so that we can continue to work hard on those higher intensity days, right? Yeah, 100%. 100%. All right. Now, something fun for you today. Instead of your typical skill of the day, what we're doing today is a game. This game will be all about shooting form, so stay tuned for that. But first, we're going to get into our warm-up. Today's warm-up will look a little different than what we've done. Today, we have three rounds of three moves. We'll be moving through each move for about 40 seconds. So I'll have Christian demo. You guys follow along with Christian while I explain, and then I'll jump in with you guys. Okay, move number one is what we call a bear squat. Let's go ahead and start our timer. We're going to push our hips back towards our heels as we press our hands into the ground. Now you'll see Christian's chest stays low to the ground. This is ideal. So the body's not really shifting forwards and backwards. All that's happening is that we're pushing into the ground, our hips are coming up, and then our hips are dropping back down. Now make sure you breathe on this. It's not about how fast we go. It's about taking our time, challenging ourselves to move slow and strong. Excellent work. Continue to breathe, continue to press into the floor, try to keep that chest low. You might feel your legs burn a little bit, but we also want to get this stretch on the back side of our legs. Again, this is our bear squat. Awesome job, you guys. A couple more reps. Continue to breathe. Beautiful. From here, we'll be moving into a twisting lat stretch. So we'll go on our hands and knees. What we'll do first is reach one hand through the opposite arms. So we're reaching through this window. From there, we're going to reach up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Again, we'll reach through. We're alternating sides here. And then we'll reach up towards the ceiling. So again, moving left to right. We reach through and we reach up. A couple things I want you to pay attention to. We're pressing the knees into the floor. We're always pressing one hand into the ground here. You'll notice Christian keeps his eyes following his fingertips as they reach through and reach up. The spine stays nice and long, and we're just moving fluidly. Excellent job, keep going. Let's get a few more reps. And you can hear Christian breathe. That's super important here, don't hold your breath. Find those places where you can inhale and exhale. And we wanna get our body warm, we wanna get our body loose, we wanna take care of it. Make sure that we're all moving healthy here. From here we'll go on to our booty, we're going into some 90-90 switches. So from this position, just allow your knees to fall to the side. Beautiful. We're going to keep our hands on the ground here. This is going to help us stay nice and tall, so top of the head up towards the ceiling, as the knees just windshield wiper right to left. For some of you, this might feel really easy. For others, this might feel really hard. Again, the focus is our hips. So we're working on that hip mobility, great for all ages, parents, kids, promise you this one is money right here. It's great for us. Beautiful. Let's get a couple more reps side to side, and then we'll go through our final two rounds. I'm going to jump in with you guys on this next one. Okay, keep moving. Woo. Into bear squat. Ready. Going in three, two, one. Let's keep moving. Let's keep grooving. This is our moving groove. Again, pressing our hands into the floor, bending and extending the legs up. When you get to the top here, you can keep that soft bend in your knees. Good job. Keep working, you guys. Ten more seconds. Five. Three, two, one. We're right here. We'll reach through. Then we'll reach up. We'll switch up sides. Reach through. Reach on up. Good. Continue to breathe and move. Alternate. Oops. There we go. Reach through. Reach up. Reach through. Reach up. Seconds. 
Great job, everybody. Keep it up, y'all. Last rep here. Awesome. We'll go on to our backside now. Awesome work, Nat. Great job, y'all. Thank you. Like Natalie said, guys, try to keep pressing the ground away with your hands. If your hands start going far away from you, put your hands a little bit closer towards your hips, and that'll help you stay a little bit taller. Okay? Awesome job, everybody. About 15 seconds left. Great job, y'all. Let's go one more rep on each side here, Nat. Mm -hmm. And last one for me. We got one more round, everybody. One more round. All right, final round here. Going in. Three, two, one. Let's keep moving. Let's keep grooving, you guys. Continuing to press the floor away. Pressing those hands and toes into the ground as we lift our hips up and then bring our hips back down. Good. Hopefully getting a little bit more warm. Hopefully feeling a little bit more loose through those tight areas of our body. Maybe challenging ourselves with some new movements today. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Going with our reaches. Again, threading one arm through and then pressing into the ground as we reach up. Threading one arm through, pressing our hands and knees into the floor as we reach. Y'all, great job, everybody. Almost done. Let's go one more each side. Last one, guys. Awesome work. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Onto the ground here. Feet are flat. We'll let those knees fall side to side as we stay tall here. You'll see that we can get our knees all the way to the ground. That may or may not happen. It's perfectly okay. Just work in your range. Try to challenge yourself. Take your time. Halfway, everybody. 20 seconds to go. Great job. I don't know about you guys. My hips, my chest, my whole spine, my whole body right now. Starting to feel a lot better than when we first started. Me too. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, awesome Good job. Good job, Matt. Awesome work, guys. Great work. So hopefully we're feeling a little bit more warmed up right now. And like Nat said, we're not necessarily going to have a skill of the day. We're going to have a game for the day. Sound good? Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna go ahead and have, and if you're doing this with a partner, have one partner lie on down. So I'll have Nat lie on down on her back here. And if you have a basketball, I would highly recommend you go and grab one, okay? If not, you can always do this without a basketball and just using your mind, right, to imagine where the ball would be and following through, okay? So here's where the game is gonna be. We're gonna go through two different rounds of our form shooting, okay, while on our back. Now here's a little spin on this, okay? I'm gonna have Natalie lift her hips up into a hip bridge. This is where we're gonna do our first round. We're gonna get 10 reps here, okay? I'm gonna give the ball to Natalie with her hips staying in the same spot the whole time. She's gonna get the ball in her shooting pocket and then she's gonna shoot on up towards the ceiling and now I'm gonna catch the ball. And again, you can see she's following through. I'll give the ball right back to her. This is number two. Perfect. Here we go, three. Awesome job. Great follow through, Nat. Four. Beautiful. Thank you. Five. Halfway through, guys. Keep it on up at home. Six. And if you don't have a partner at home, Nat is just going to catch the ball herself. Seven. She'll do one more time. Eight. But of course, she has me, so I'm going to help her out with the last two reps. 
Last one here, Nat. Awesome work, everybody. If you only have one ball, it's okay to use the same one ball. Since we have the luxury of having a woman's and a men's ball, I'm gonna go ahead and grab behind. I'm gonna go onto my back, and then again, hips are up. Natalie's gonna go ahead and hand me the ball, and I'm gonna go 10 reps from here, okay? One. One, good. Two, Two. nice. Three. Beautiful. Four. Five. Good awesome work. Through. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then last one here, guys. Ten. Awesome. Now, we're going to do one more round here, and we're going to make this game a little bit more challenging, okay? So, start in the same place, on your back, but now what we're going to do is I'm going to have Natalie only have one foot onto the ground here, okay? So, as we're now here, she's going to shoot the same way, but don't let your hips turn and twist, okay? We're going to go five reps on one side and then five reps on the next side. So go ahead, Nat. That's one. Perfect. You're going to see, guys, this is a completely different experience for your body. Do your best to keep the lower body nice and tight. Awesome work, Nat. I believe we've got two more right there. Awesome. We've got one more right there. Awesome. Now we'll go to the next leg, okay? And again... The hips are fighting to stay square, and she's going to go ahead and hit one. We got number two. Awesome work. Three. Great job. Four. Awesome work. And then the last one here. Five. Awesome job. I'm going to give that ball just back to Nat. She will, oh, actually, I'm sorry. I could have put that up for you. My bad. That's okay. I'll go onto the ground, and again, I'll do five here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pop my hips on up. I'm going to go one leg only. So again, take your time in getting your chest nice and flat here on the ground. I got one, two, three, awesome work, four, last one here, five. Great job. And then now we'll go ahead and switch our sides. Again, when you switch up your side, take a second to get nice and stable through your body. And then let's go. One, two, three. Four, and then last one here, guys. Five. Awesome job, everybody. Again, once we got those two rounds, we finish up our game for the day. Hopefully, that helping your shooting form so when you go back to the court, your shot will feel a little bit more on balance. Could they do that with the opposite hand? They could do that with the opposite hand, 100%. We can make this game as fun as we would like, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and get into the flow of the day. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys one movement. We're gonna work through that one movement. I'm gonna give you a second one, and then we're gonna piece movement in one, at one and two together. Then I give you a third movement, we piece it together. A fourth movement, we piece it together, and next thing you know, we're taking four or five separate movements, and we're making one seamless movement routine. We're gonna put our clock on for 12 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna get my clock ready. Nat is gonna move the whole time, and I'll jump in and out with her and with you guys, okay? We're going to start it up here in three, two, one. The first thing we have is our hinge. So we're going to push our hips back and then slowly come up tall. Again, you can see here from Natalie, she's got a bend in her knees as she throws her hips back. Think about like where your hamstrings and your hips meet behind you. Try to push that area straight back. Okay. Now, this is our first movement. After Natalie does one more rep, she's going to show you the second movement. So we're going to hinge come all the way up. Now we're gonna squat, hands down. We're gonna sprawl the hips, squeezing the glutes to the ground. I'll bring our hips back on up, foot comes up, foot comes up, and then we'll stand up tall. Movement number one is still the same. Check it out, hinge. She comes all the way tall. Remember the second, squat, hands, hands, feet, feet, squeeze the glutes, slowly come back on up, foot to foot, and then we'll stand up tall. We'll do that one more time, guys. Hinge here first, and then squat, hand, hand, sprawl, before we come on up to the plank, foot, foot, squat, and then stand up tall. Now we're gonna show you the third movement. So we're gonna still hinge, come up all the way tall. We're gonna squat, hand, hand, put the feet back, before we sprawl. Now here's the next one, okay? Tuck your chin and let's push our spine. Push our back. Push our hips up towards the ceiling, all the way back towards our hips or at our ankles. 
And then from here, go the same way. Go all the way back up with the hips, all the way back up with the chest, the shoulders, the neck, and we're right back where the end of our sprawl was. Let's go and bring our hips up to a plank, foot up, foot up, squat and stand tall. Guys, that's the flow so far. Again, movement number one, check out Natalie. Hinge. The movement number two, squat. Squeeze the hips into the ground, open up the chest for a sprawl. And the movement number three, tuck your chin, round your spine and your hips back to your heels. And then bring your hips up and then round the rest of your spine all the way back to you squeeze the glutes. And then from there, you're just gonna come back up to a plank. We'll go foot, foot, squat to stand. And we'll keep going through that, guys. We only got one more part of this flow, so let's keep moving, okay? Again, we're gonna hinge. Slowly come up all the way tall. Again, we're gonna squat, hand, hand. We're gonna sprawl the hips back. From there, we're gonna tuck the chin and round ourselves all the way on back. From here, slowly pull those hips all the way up. Squeezing the glutes. Now hold on, before we stand up, here's the next part. Let's come up to a plank. Bring one foot up into our pigeon stretch. Now here we can relax. We can put our hands wherever we need to. Let's take a nice inhale. Slow exhale. Before we go ahead and go back to that high plank and then slowly bring that foot, other foot across. And then again, nice inhale. Exhale. Where we slowly come back up into that plank. And then the same way we stand on up. Foot comes up, foot comes up. I'll squat and then stand tall. Guys, that's the whole flow. Let's just keep moving now, okay? Again, we're gonna hinge. Stand all the way tall. We're gonna squat. Hand, hand, and then sprawl the hips down to the ground. From here, we're going to tuck the chin and slowly round out the spine. All the way back, hips to heels. Slowly pull the hips up. Slowly pushing the ground away. Squeezing the glutes. From here, we'll go high plank. Bring one foot forward. Again, we're going to take an inhale. Exhale. Before we slowly bring our hips and our chest back to high plank, put that next foot in front of us. Again here, big inhale. Slow exhale. Again, we'll come back up to plank. Let's go one foot up, one foot up, and then slowly stand tall. So now, guys, you guys keep on moving. Natalie's going to keep on moving here. I'm just going to show one other thing you can do. When Natalie does her sprawl, instead of stepping her feet, She's gonna hop the feet back before she squeezes. So it's the same flow. It's just making the drill maybe a little bit more dynamic and challenging. And again, there's so many different levels of people doing this drill at home. So you guys find out where is that sweet spot? Where is that challenging spot for both parents and both the kids, okay? Again, you can see she did her spinal wave. She's now going into her pigeon. If you feel like one side's a little bit tighter, then by all means, breathe there. Hang out there a little bit longer. You can hear her breath before you slowly come back up. Now, remember, she hopped back for her sprawl. She's going to hop back up and then stand up tall. We'll move together here now, guys, okay? We're about six minutes down. I'm going to hinge. And then I'm going to squat. I'm going to put hands, hop the feet, Squeeze the hips, slowly round the spine, all the way back, hips to heels. And then from here, pulling the hips up, rounding our spine all the way up and forward. Oh, we squeeze our hips. Hips come up to plank. Let's go one foot here. I'm going to take a big inhale. We'll go back to plank. I'll put that next foot forward, and then again, big inhale. Awesome work, guys. And then again, we'll go back to plank. I'm going to hop, feet up. I'm going to squat, and then I'm going to stand tall. We'll keep on moving, guys. We're almost done, okay? Slowly hinge. And then we're going to squat. I'm going to hop. 
as I sprawl from sprawl. We're gonna round our spine all the way up, slowly going hips back to the heels. Again, slowly rounding the spine all the way back and forward. Whenever we get done with that sprawl, I'll bring my hips all the way back on up. And then we're gonna slowly go one foot in front of us. Take a nice inhale, exhale, and then slowly push our hip on back. And then we'll do the same deal next side. Again, take your time. You guys are gonna be moving at your own pace here. Some of us may be moving a little bit quicker, while some of us might be moving a little bit slower, okay? Feel free to hang out in these positions as long as you guys like. Now we'll keep on moving here, okay? We'll go here about three to four more times, guys. We're doing great, okay? Again, hinging. After our hinge, we're gonna squat and then sprawl the hips back. From the sprawl, slowly rounding our spine all the way out back. From here, again, hips are lifting, rounding the spine all the way forward. From the wave, we'll come back to plank. And for me, I have one side that's a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna hang out here a little bit longer. I might even just kind of wiggle my chest here a little bit side to side before I slowly pick my chest back on up and then round and roll over to the next side. Again, this side is feeling a little tight. I might add a little bit of rotation from side to side before I slowly pop my hips on up Pop back up into that squat, and then I stand up tall. Two more times through. I'm going to hinge, squat, sprawl. I'm going to speed myself up, going back. I'm going to round myself, going forward. And then again, I'll come into that pigeon. Inhale, exhale. Again, I'm going to plank. And you can see me and Nat are going to be moving at different paces. And that's perfectly fine, okay? If you're doing this at home with the parent or your friend, okay? It's totally fine if you guys are moving a little bit quicker through the whole deal, okay? And then sprawling, waving, bringing one foot forward, take a big inhale. Exhale, and again, I'll bring one foot forward. Maybe a little twist before I hop myself back on up. I'll go one more time here, okay, guys? One more time. Again, hinging. Some work, everybody. You guys take your time in finishing up at home. I'm just gonna hang out here in the bottom of my squat here for a couple more seconds. Ah, take your time. We can see Natalie still moving. Take your time finishing up your flow. Hopefully, you guys are feeling a little bit more loose and mobile compared to when we first started. Okay, now what we got left, Nat's gonna take you guys. We're gonna go together through some decompression. Good job. Thank you. All right, y'all, let's come down to the ground to a seated position. And I'm going to just cross my feet here. I'll just probably put legs forward. Whatever feels comfortable for you, we'll do a quick breathing exercise. This is great to just bring your heart rate down, okay? Use this at any time when you're feeling stressed or anxious or worked up or you just need to catch your breath. So what we'll do, five cycles here of three inhales through the nose and then really slow exhales through the nose. So I'll show you one time, then we'll go through it together. It'll look like this. Got it? Here we go. Number one, and three, two, one, go.
Awesome. Hopefully you guys can feel those exhales getting a little bit slower each time. Good work. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stand on it, shake all that off, and thank you. I'll leave you guys with this quick little reminder. Just about the book of the month. Book of the month is called Mind Gem. And we don't have a journal prompt for today, so I just want you, if you've been reading the book, to share a takeaway or something that you've learned with a family member or a sibling, parent, whoever it may be in your life. May Hopefully they're reading the book with you, and if not, that would be a great idea as well. But yeah, share something that you've learned from that book with someone, or just go ahead and get started reading that book. You guys have a great day. Excellent job.